Butter from thin air. Are you ready for CO2 cuisine? Ever imagined your butter being made from the same stuff you exhale? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because a Bill Gates-backed startup is doing just that. They're whipping up butter from captured carbon dioxide and hydrogen, skipping the whole cow and farm thing entirely. This futuristic food feat promises to slash greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. But, hold your horses, is this CO2 concoction actually tasty? According to Mr. Gates himself, the lab-grown butter is indistinguishable from the real deal. He claims it fooled his taste buds, leaving him wondering if he'd stumbled into a parallel buttery universe. So, how does this culinary alchemy work? Think of it like a high-tech, eco-friendly version of photosynthesis. Scientists are essentially mimicking what plants do, just with a little more technological oomph. They're snatching carbon from the air and hydrogen from water, then playing molecular matchmaker to create fat molecules identical to those found in your favorite dairy delights. Forget rolling green pastures. This butter is born in a system that looks more like a science lab than a farm. It's a bit like turning fossil fuels into food. Intriguing, right? The company has its sights set on bringing this climate-conscious cuisine to your local grocery store within a few years. But will you bite? Are you ready to swap your traditional tub of butter for one born from thin air? Think about it. Butter, cheese, milk, and even ice cream. All made without a single moo or patch of farmland. Is this the future of food or just a fad? Could you stomach the thought of your favorite comfort foods being synthesized in a lab? The debate is churning. While the environmental benefits are undeniable, the question remains. Will consumers embrace this radical shift in food production? Only time will tell if CO2 cuisine will conquer our kitchens.